Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TLG Vlogs. Today we're talking about robots and real estate. No, we're not talking about the Roomba that your dog or my dog jumps on in your apartment. We're not talking about the crazy shop right robot that follows you around and asks you if you know if you're gonna save 15% today. We're talking about automation, we're talking about technology, we're talking about AI, we're talking about the evolution of real estate, we're talking about what your competitors are gonna be using, we're talking about what the consumer is gonna be expecting, and yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to share it because honestly, it's something that just bounces around all the time, right? I'll, sp I'll speak to mortgage loan officers, I'll speak to title reps, I'll speak to attorneys, I'll speak to consumers, real estate agents, and everyone has their own opinion on it. So I thought I wanna jump in the mix and I wanna give you my opinion on a couple different avenues of where I think the industry is gonna evolve um, into and continue where it's already is at. First and foremost, right? Customer experience. The CEO of my company, Ilya, said something that I, I, I love, right? You don't, you don't lose a listing or you don't lose a client um, because you fail. You lose a client or you lose a listing because you fail to communicate. And what that kind of breaks down to in its simplistic form, right, is customer service, customer experience. People hire you because they want that experience. And when we're dealing with real estate, undoubtedly, probably the biggest asset somebody will ever buy and sell in their entire life, they want customer experience. And as you're gonna see a couple trends um, in today's day and age, which are advancing, right, that we saw, which we would have called antiquated no more than five or six years ago, I'll give you guys some examples, billboards, right? How many how many new people are you seeing on billboards lately? Five, 10 years ago, people were like, that's crazy, Who would? why would anyone do billboards? Everyone's on the internet nowadays. People are so, um, dominated by by people's presence on social media and on the internet that they're actually looking for different outlets because they've they've been overwhelmed for so long with those outlets that things are always ever changing but the one thing that never ever ever gets replaced is customer experience and customer service and i think you know back to this whole automation thing as why it, it, it's never going to be a add to cart checkout type of thing is because people are trusting you with that major asset people are trusting for your advice in the towns people want to know um what what the, what the uh, neighboring houses have sold for and they want to understand the school systems they want to understand the commute to new york city and my generation the millennial more than anybody else they're lazy People are lazy. They want someone to to help them in that decision. They don't they don't want to research themselves. They don't want to go on Zillow and read about the school systems. They don't want to go on New Jersey Transit and read how I'm going to get from Hohokus, New Jersey to to New York City. They want you to tell them. They want the experience. They want to be part of it. And I think that more than anything else is if you're in this industry, no matter what you're doing, whether you're in title, you're a loan officer, you're a real estate agent, you're an attorney, you need to provide the highest level of customer experience. But with the ability for people just to kind of put people on emails and allow it to follow up by themselves, people are getting dumbed down by it. People are noticing the difference between the person that's setting them up on auto emails and the person that's regularly checking on them, calling them, interacting with them, once again, giving them that customer experience. I gotta take a call, I'll see you guys in one second. All right, we're back. So let's not get something twisted. Automation is definitely not a bad thing. Automation is a good thing, right? It's a tool, it's an asset to give the consumer, the agent, um, the people what they're looking for, the information. But don't think for a second that information will ever, ever replace customer experience or customer service because it's totally and utterly different, right? Yeah, okay, maybe someone's able to uh, you know, go to a, a website or go to a source uh, today that they weren't able to a couple years ago and get the information that uh, a person or an individual, an agent, doesn't matter what industry you're in, uh, could would have given them anyway, but that doesn't that doesn't replace the experience, right? And that's that's kind of what I'm what I'm here to share with you guys today. But really, what you're going to need to focus on uh, in in a generation where your competitors, where your consumers have access to the same information um, that you do, is customer experience, right? It's it's giving somebody that white glove service. It's giving somebody. Um, that professional assisting hand that they're looking for. Because when we're so boggled down, as what we were saying earlier, where we're getting targeted by 17 million different ads on our phones, on our TV, you say something and it pops up, or you're looking at something, I mistakenly freaking scroll on my phone and hit that, you know, that, that pair of jeans I liked, and now it's on every goddamn website <laughs> I, I go to. Um, 
the person the person that's that's concentrating and leveraging technology and leveraging automation uh, to assist them, but really dwelling down and, and, and tripling down on customer experience is really going to see, I think, the biggest the biggest growth in the following years. So we actually just pulled up to our Mawa office. I think we're going to go inside, right? Take take a look in there. Wrap this up. I want to talk to you guys about some things that you should implement. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys inside. Bye. Seats are oh yeah, yeah, for Cliff, uh, for Wayne tonight. Perfect. Are we okay? Yes. See you tonight. Good. Bye. Perfect. So I'm sure if you're watching this, right, it's a debatable topic. Some people, you know, are waiting to message me and, and give me their opinion. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something right now to the audience that I can pretty much guarantee you, you do. If you call a customer service line right now, what's the first button you hit? Zero. Why do you hit zero? Because you don't want to sit on hold and talk to a robot. You want that interaction. You want what you're paying for. You want your question answered now. This right here uh, has allowed us to be able to communicate with people 24 seven. One of the most valuable assets, I'm gonna give you my secret that I actually never shared in any vlog ever. Probably my number one trait ever is that it doesn't matter when you text me, when you call me, I will always get back to you, always. And why I do that is because I've been able to build uh, that experience with people, and I've had my clients say to me after transactions, like, we've worked with agents before, we've worked with family before, it's like, you literally are always on the ball. I pride myself on always being on the ball and pride and, and delivering that experience. And I, 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 I hope you guys do the same. It's worked for me and I, I can pretty much assure you it would probably work for you. But to, to not dwell off topic too much and get back to what I was saying is the issues that I see of where technology won't, won't replace is one of the major things that I see is value, right? Values in homes, um, you know, a lot of the appraisal companies out there are switching to these systems which are, uh, you know, allowing for desktop reviews and pulling information and, and coming up with value, but there's something different about being in a house and understanding the layout, understanding the square footage, understanding the upgrades, understanding the neighborhood, right? Um, you know how many times I've been in a negotiation where like we were able to sway a situation in favor for a buyer or a favor for a seller that a computer I can promise you never was able to do, right? Because the computer just wants a command and answer, uh, spit out results where we're able to, and, and you know, don't use this word in the wrong way, but we're able to manipulate or we're able to shift a conversation and shift a situation to make it favorable for uh, a buyer and seller. Once again, that, 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 middle, that middle of the road thing, which we're calling customer experience or customer service. Um, you know, if you watch any of my other vlogs, the one thing that I that I do want you to take away from this is never, ever, ever um, remove remove organization, right? Use the technology that's out there to be able to enhance everything that I'm telling you today, right? All right, so Taylor, I don't mean to cut you off, but you just speaking did. of technology, technologies, what are your three favorite, like tech tools, like, you know, AI that you would say you need or that you use? your favorite, the most resourceful ones. If you can only choose three, which would you use? My three favorite robots, <laughs> off the theme of the, uh, the vlog. Um, my new favorite is actually an app called Tasks, um, which I can show you guys. I freaking love this app. Super cool, I actually added it to the bottom of my phone here, so you can see. So you have different folders, and I go in here, and I can have like workday stuff, and I can go through and check off on a daily basis. Um, like what needs to be done and you could set due dates and it sounds so silly, but there's just something about like checking something off and that keeps me like incredibly organized. Um, my CRM, right? We use a CRM called Follow Up Boss. Um, it's really good for real estate agents for following up. Uh, if you have a team, you're able to assign different leads. It, a it actually automatically syndicates information. So like if I get an inquiry, so speak, I'll dumb this down. If somebody inquires on a property through Zillow, I have it already set up, so when that Zillow leak comes into my Gmail, it automatically brings it into Follow Up Boss. It tells me what time they, what property they inquired in, what time I'm able to add notes, I'm able to tag people on my team, uh, reassign them, and it's actually automatically connected to my email. I could fire them off an email from the CRM, and it comes right from my Gmail. So, love, love, love that. And then my last one, I don't know, my calendar. I would say, you know, there's just something about you know, really setting the precedent for a meeting or something when you're sending a Google invite out, right? If you and your friend are talking, I think you should get into a habit of always setting meetings. So if you and your friend are like, hey, you know, let's meet up uh, this week at some point to talk about, you know, whatever I want to talk about, send out a Google invite. It solidifies that relationship, it solidifies that. So I would say those are probably my, my, my three favorites. There's so many more. I mean, obviously I love my, I love my Gmail, I love iMessage, I, I love FaceTime, I love all that stuff, but the three I probably use the most, I would say, are, say, are those three on a daily basis. 
But um, listen, guys, this topic could go on forever. Like we could talk about this all day long, hours on a clip. It's never gonna end. It's always gonna advance. There's always gonna be new stuff uh, ever changing in the industry. But the one thing I wanted you guys to just understand is the importance of that connection between people and providing people with the highest level of the customer experience and customer service you can. And I promise you, the results will follow. So once again, as always, we love the support. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of TLG Vlogs, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.